Okay. This is going to be an easy pull. I could probably push this through. The only problem I have is that I have this roll of white that I'm feeding through as well. So I just got to watch out so that this doesn't fall off of the scaffold. Well, you probably can't even see it. But I have four, four loose orange, and I got to make sure that these don't get all tangled up. Easier said than done. I probably, well, I definitely shouldn't be pulling this with tape. I should use string, but I don't feel like going to look for any. goes the white. I gotta get back there. Oh, I got a tangle. Yeah, I could have just pushed this through. I'll push the next one through. It's a lot easier having somebody on the other end, but we'll get this done. this off. I'm going to leave a fair size loop in here. I should have plenty Go like that. And yeah, we got plenty down there. Cut this white off right there. these together. I have one that's really long. Don't know how that happened, but it is. And instead of cutting that off, I'm just going to feed that through first. And then pull the others through with it once that's through. And again, if something goes wrong, I can always just pull this back through and try again. The one I just pulled through is half inch conduit. And this is three quarter inch conduit. And that's only eight feet away with no bends, just two offsets. There it is. There's my knife. While I'm up here, I have to get this dust collector bolted down as well.
beautiful. Got the lengths on these just about right. Still would have been a lot easier if I had reels feeding out, but it is what it is. this loop in the box. Cut this neutral. And that's about it. Now Two of those wires have to go all the way to that far box and a couple wires have to go to that near box and there's some splices in here and we got wires going all the way to the bottom and wires going to that box right there but that is it for the major pulls for right now. All right, with everything pulled, none of these wires are touching anything where they're going to get electrified and probably wouldn't really make any difference if they did. But now it's time to get those identified. I taped this up because I can't get that put together yet, but this one is done and I have an extension cord going over to here so that I'll have lights and everything is good. The breakers I put in, these four right here, are all off, so I'm gonna go turn on the power, and then I should be able to turn on number one and flip my remote, and I should have light, and then I can start identifying these. Well, actually, I can hook these neutrals up right away. The camera crashed while I was talking about the neutrals, but I went ahead and got them wired up anyways. And I got the two big circuits wired up because I can test them that way. I just got the four wires coming out of the box up there. Two of them have to go to the further box and two of them are gonna get spliced and go down to there. So it doesn't matter what's what over there. I just have to identify them. So I'll turn on the power and then turn on one of the breakers, find out which two wires it is, and there you have it. So I'm ready to turn on the power now. So let me go do that. And hopefully the lights are working and everything is fine. And then all we got to do is identify these wires. Actually, it's just the four orange. I know where that blue goes. So let's get the lights on. Oh, the breaker. That should be circuit one. Ah, we have a light. on our GFCI. Hmm. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now for the identification, all I'm going to do is plug 
a little extension cord into one of those outlets and I'll bear a little bit of this wire, stick it in the extension cord, and then go see which one is electrified over here, mark it down, and do that for all four of them. And that will wrap it up for the day. It's already getting pretty darn late. What time is it? Five o'clock. Yeah, let's get this done really quick. Got this plugged in right here. And we got power to one of the oranges. That's this one right here. All right, I'm gonna get some tape and get that marked. And then there's only three left to do. I lied, I only had to test two more because the last orange and the blue are self-evident. Oh, and the big wires, all I gotta do is turn on the breaker and find out which ones are hot. And the 30 amp stays at the pole box and that's gonna get wired down for the compressor and the 20 amp continues on to that very last box that is going to get a remote plugged into it which is going to come over here above that pull box and the dust collector will be connected to that then this will be ready to turn on with a remote but i can't turn it on the way it is not with an open end like that with no restriction that'll burn the motor up right away. But I'll be able to turn that on real soon. Well, I'll be able to turn it on, I just don't want to. So, yeah, the next video, I'll get this entire wall wired up. And, well, I should get this entire wall wired up before that, but I may do it in that video as well. Then I have another pull to get all these service drops. That one is going to be fairly easy. And that will do it for the electricity until I get more wall put in. I have to get wall put in up to about right there. Then I can finish the conduit, come down and have the rest of the three-way switches as well as another three-way switch for the lights in there and i'll be running a wire or a conduit down to the bottom and through to a little little breaker box out here and that's going to cover the minimal circuits out here well it's got i have four breakers in there so I mean, that's plenty for out here. And then, like I said, once I get all this stuff, I got a good deal of stuff to pick up at the store. I'll be running conduit up to here and I'll have a little handy box up there and the light over the sink area is gonna be connected to that switch right there. And I thought about that. I might not be able to find a Decora and like a regular switch. I might have to get a Decora, just a regular switch, two Decora right there. I'm not a big fan of Decora, but it is what it is. If that's what I got to do, that's what I got to do. And then finally, we're going to have a line coming out right here and a switch that goes up or a switch that controls a light that's going to be right in this area here. It's, well, actually it's going to be over that way. And that'll be for the lumber rack that's going here. When I'm picking out lumber, I can just flip that switch and have some really nice light on the lumber. Good, good, good. Okay. A lot more wiring to do, and you'll see that in the next video.